after being abducted, forced aboard a floating crate of ice headed by the church, running into people that you previously were punched in the face, really. It's an interesting day that Toma has lined up for him, but things are definitely looking a bit more deadly than they did before. People in danger that he has to save. But out in the middle of the ocean, what better to have than a submarine? Or a fleet of them. Once again, church on church action. There's some people very much on the line. Let's get to watching it. The thing is, so many people with like these vast powers and all this, like index of the 103,000 grimoires. Sure, she's being somewhat hidden. But after that one guy's attempt, it's like, has really been any effort to track her down. And are any of the kind of side characters going to become more involved? Kind of like how the well, style and the Hawaiian shirt dude started off just kind of on the outskirts and now they are pretty much present when there's something going on in Academy City. What you wouldn't give for just an ordinary life. And also, even if it was just for locking down their spells and whatnot, they are lit wearing just plain clothing at the minute, thanks to Toma. Hope she's got a lot of cell tape. Or well, anyone in this kind of circumstance who doesn't at least feel something. She sees such an idealistic world. But also the way the index goes, it's not completely wrong. Anyone who he fights ends up being on his side at some point. Even with his, you know, illusion breaker. Having that kind of reaction to be able to step in the way of an ice cannonball. And of course there's a time frame on the entire thing. You have to go and rescue Agnes before she just becomes a husk. Oh, that sounds lovely. Also, just transferring from one ship to the other, 
Why don't they all go and then destroy the bridge after them? How are they supposed to be chased? <laughs> Just go in with brute force. Cool. Just run forward with your hand out. Yeah, there's a, a bit... Too many of them. Good thing that they actually f decided to change course and follow him. I have a feeling like in this situation, Toma is a lot like Saitama, where he's just going through the ship. No, not here. Zap. No, not here. Break this wall instead. Like an amphitheater or something. Also, having big ice guardian golems attacking you, they're not very structurally sound. Uh, kind of what he's heard so far. Oh, something outside of her knowledge. Ah. He might have destroyed what was immediate, the immediate danger, but what else was causing the f ceiling to f fall? It could cause a bit of an issue. Unfortunately, this one seems to be quite attached to him. If he turned out anything like him, I'm not sure he'd take that deal. Good thing he came to visit him himself. Doesn't have to go searching for him. Oh. Oh, he tried to lift himself up off the floor. Not very uh, saintly of him. The thing is, you can attach any sort of meaning you want to any sort of symbol. Good thing he didn't immediately go into someone's room while they were undressing. Hopefully it will be that easily, easy to do. Is it something that can be undone once it's started? Ah, oh. then it better be worth the wait. I have a feeling I'm not going to like the answer to this.
Wow, he can't even move himself after that. Cutting off his ability to use his use his hands and the rest of his body. Ah, taunt. The thing is, those ice golem things, are they made from parts of the ship itself? So they do they have to sacrifice a little bit of the structure? Yeah, she had a reason to return. And is she going to use that weapon? Plus the consequences of leaving her behind and letting them do whatever it is they are trying to do and probably have bigger consequences. And that was a good enough reason. What's with the big orb? She seems stuck to it. <laughs> it would at least... Understandable, but it would at least uh, hamper their plans for a while. and didn't stick around to check. The good thing with having a... a ship made of this kind of material... I'm not sure of its rigidity. Um, so they can point it in any direction. But once they unlock it and are able to move it around, destroy whatever they want, do not think that people with more of a plan, more of a connection to, well, will come to stop them? And bring everyone back to the dark ages of scientific progress. Well, she wasn't very effective. That's the problem with like, a complete pacifist. I guess that's one way to get your name in history. I mean, what else is he supposed to act on? Morality?
Well, you're not really trying. So far, his power of the crosses and whatnot isn't something too spectacular. Well, she's got a little bit of fight back into her. And is she expected to answer? Surely if you listen to the voice of God, you can get him to, t get him to tell you what's going on. Do you really want to use a sinner as the crux of your power? I'm not entirely sure of the stories. Oh, so there is a way to circumnavigate that kind of power. Just make everything not weigh anything. Really? Hmm. Wait. I've... Double tap. So I think he's now learned how to use his hand, you know, as a ranged weapon. Or using the air molecules he's, that was part of the added weight to undo it. Hit him again. And strip him of all of the crosses. For one that was speaking so highly of make sure he's dead before you turn your back. Oh well. Looks like the process has started. Ah. Certainly looks that way. Now if they had done what I said, remove the crosses from him. Toma, destroy the floor under his feet and make him uh, join the ICC. Okay, now it's... At least the room itself is kind of cool. It's nice that you can make such a calculation. Yeah, it might be better if she was an empty vessel then. Wouldn't be able to go through all of that. He has something to finish. And the longer you stay here, the harder his job is.
So there are definitely people pulling strings to make things expedited. And of course, there's no room to question the will of the church. Pity will, no one will ever know of it. Oh, music switch up. There you go, he's doing more than one at a time. That's what you need. Oh, extendo cross. Leave the pagan monkey alone. <laughs> Having to Yeah, he's gonna have to fix his knuckles, but Him having to make that chant every time he wants to use a cr Oh, they're quite flimsy, you can just step on them. Use a cross. Now make sure you keep to keep going, Dorma. So apparently it was more concentrated on him than the the ship or anyone else. At least he floats. <laughs> I think he'd rather still be unconscious. <clears throat> No, because everything seemed to not be so dangerous anymore. How long were they on the line for? What's that voice? Is it the doctor? It's the doctor. <laughs> yep, cut your vacation short, but... That leads some questions into what he knows about Thomas' body itself and what's been going on. Ah, oh. He can't escape it! <laughs> no! <laughs> Not going back. Make a new life for, for, for himself in Italy. Hmm. And as a kind of solo agent, she hasn't really done anything as, as far as I'm aware. Well, some artwork is now being created from that description. I think she got a bit flustered with that conversation. Maybe she was... In Thinking about it. Pate. Ah. Well, the artwork doesn't need to be created now. It's uh, drawn itself. You have a new room, mate. A new room, mate. She doesn't seem to be writhing in pain, so at least that's a plus. Ah, uh, she doesn't... She, 
she doesn't really uh, yeah treat titles or anything very well. Did I say Kamijo? Well, she is an interesting one. It did say Kamijo. Hmm. Kind of like I said, he's standing out too much. Now, other than just keeping Toma's peculiar, to, peculiar abilities under wraps, has the Doctor uncovered anything else that is questionable about Toma that he hasn't exactly informed him of? Does the fact that he sustained so many injuries and overcome almost all of them lead into anything? But just like before... No one's really safe. Everyone's going to come after Academy City. It's too big. It's causing waves. But now, if we can't get the big prize, let's have a look at what's standing in our way. And it seems to be some spiky-haired little brat. With a compulsion of running in headfirst. But I do like how he wasn't really that concerned about having to cut his hard-earned trip short. More... Oh. Shit. I forgot about the punishment game. Let me emigrate to another country. But what a powerful motivator. Some that are fighting for themselves or to make a name for them. Whereas others... Fighting for their friends, their family. For anyone that Thomas seems to bump into on the street. Powerful motivator. Now we saw Agnes kind of turn up to their apartment. It's like, hi, I'm going to be staying here for a while. Is she fully over the effects of something something rosary? I very much doubt it. It was built up to be this grand. Your very essences will be destroyed and you'll be a hollow shell of what you were. And basically just the trigger to a big bomb. And if that has just been completely wiped clean because Toma and his magic fist. I'm going to be slightly disappointed but we'll have to see. And if you want to come and enjoy the... Fruits of our labour. Making it through this far. Make sure to come and join me for the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, let me know down below. And also check the description for links to Discord or anything else that takes your fancy. There might be something to entertain you for 5-10 to ten minutes. And I'm sorry Italy. Index has just given a quite solid reason as why we shouldn't visit anytime soon. You need to really clear up your giant ice fleet pro problem. Then again, if we took anything in any of this seriously, there'd be very little to do in the world that would be considered safe. Get some rest though, and I hope you don't wake up being wheeled along a hospital ward. Join me for the next one.